weapons. Uh, we're just gonna have a quick look at their deck list before we start. So uh, the uh, Grease team is represented by Sly Knight and is playing Crane and is uh, running Crane with Dragon Splash, pretty standard. Goblin Sneaks are maybe a bit spicy for Crane to run, but uh, it's it's a good card. Uh, nothing out of the ordinary here. And we, from the Scorpion player we see actually Phoenix Splash. Now that is interesting, especially with Secret of Knowledge. This seems to be like a hard Dishonor type of uh, Scorpion. Anyway, we're going to go right into the game any second now. I'm ready and live. Right, let's just bring up uh, the big screen and let's make it a bit bigger. Not that much big, perhaps. Uh, this should be fine, I guess. Now everyone gets to see the cards. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, removed from game is not going to be interesting, so having this in the disc... Yeah, this should be fine. Welcome everyone, and hopefully you see what's going on on the screen. Uh, I'm just gonna bring up my chat quickly. Alright, here we go. And from the Crane player, we see a really strong start with Guest of Honor with three fate. Guest of Honor, of course, is while this character is participating in a conflict, opponents cannot play events. Which basically shuts down the Scorpion more or less completely. <laughs> because Scorpion is pretty much all about playing strong events from hand. The Scorpion player has a bit more of an awkward start, I guess. Oh, and now we have issues. Right, that's bad. Uh, I have put myself in a bit of a bind. Let's do like this. Right, uh, I'm just resetting that for a second. And... Let's zoom again. Uh, the reason why I didn't zoom out the other way, I can explain to you, is because that's one of the macros I have for my stream. <laughs> so, we do see the Scorpion player play the Falling Diplomat. So, the cards are now slightly smaller, but on the plus side, they do fit on the screen. Do I dare, dare to go one step larger? No, I should not have dared to go one step larger. Well, you live and you learn. Uh, let's just go one, two, three, then, and go one more. Yeah, there we go. So, uh, we also see from the uh, Scorpion player, they play a unassuming Yujimbo uh, with one fate first, and they're doing this to sh shut off the Guest of Honor, I guess, but the Guest of Honor is, if necessary, going to just move in with the favorable ground. Uh, I'm just going to have a quick look. Yeah, both players bid 5, nothing strange here. And the Scorpion player is going into the province with the Cautious Scout. And finds Fertile Fields. So, Fertile Fields. During a conflict at this province, draw one card. And apparently the Scorpion player has some issues with the user interface of Hugoku, but this should be... Yeah, uh, Guest of Honor with Favorable Grounds first round is pretty much uh, fantastic for the Crane player against Scorpion. I agree with you, chat. Uh, so, we do see Jujimbo go in, and we see Fertile Fields to draw a card. And currently the Scorpion player is winning, but not breaking. And uh, now the question is whether the Crane player tries to stop this or not. Uh, 
So the crane player could have a multitude of options here to deal with this. I, I, I think probably one of the best ones is to move in the guest of honor, hawk tattoo the falling diplomat and then bonsai to win the conflict. And that will pretty much shut down the rest of this turn. I don't think the scorpion player can play anything else after that. Perhaps a meek informant uh, to have a second conflict. But uh, yeah, that's it, that's certainly a line of play that the crane player could take here. I mean, unless the scorpion pumps here, you could also just let him win. I mean, your guest of honor dies a little bit sooner, but uh, oh, of course, you can also drop a steward of the law and then uh, for shame. And we see Star Wars memes from the chat, uh, the in-game chat that is. But I'm just gonna. I was just responding to the Star Wars meme. And what happened here was basically we see the steward of the uh, law dropped into the conflict and then we see the four shame. So four shame says during a conflict if you control a participating courtier character, which steward of the law is, uh, choose a participating character controlled by your opponent. Your opponent must select one, dishonor the chosen character or bow it. But, since Steward of the Law says, while this character is participating in a conflict, characters cannot become dishonored, the only option for the Scorpion player is to bow the unassuming Yojimbo, thus meaning the Crane player wins that conflict. Uh, a response from the Scorpion player could have been to just quickly assassinate the Steward of the Law as soon as it dropped. That would have been a pretty decent play, in my opinion. And here we see the Guest of Honor attack into Pilgrimage, and first action, uh, we see a... Ooh, we see a Court Games to honor the Guest of Honor, and of course, uh, the Guest of Honor adds the glory value to both of his other skills then, so he goes up to 5 political strength, and breaks the pilgrimage and triggers the earth ring and we see a fate worse than death discarded for the scorpion player which is a card you really want to hold on to if possible and here comes the counter attack a fire ring with fawning diplomat onto fertile fields Right, the, uh, I'm sorry chat, did I did I suggest that the Scorpion player was anything other than Greek? Have I messed up the title? I don't think so, I don't think I've messed up the title. Uh, I'm gonna take a quick look at that. Uh, That's weird. All right, so apparently uh, the Scorpion player has Greek ancestry, or uh, is living in Greece or something like that. The chat tells me. But anyway, uh, we go into the next round, and we do see uh, from the Scorpion player a Shusura actress, which I think is probably going to be pretty neat because you can steal both Doja Challenger and Cautious Scout, whichever suits the situation best. And the crane player pull, uh, finds on the flop a Brash Samurai and Kakita Sami. I'm thinking we're probably going to see the Brash Samurai played here. No, we doesn't see anything played from the crane player. 
uh, which I guess means he has one or more conflict characters in hand. Which is also a fine thing. So, uh, the Scorpion player has first attack now and has to choose where to go. We do see the unassuming Yojimbo attack onto... Yes, where do we attack with unassuming Yojimbo? Onto the fertile field. So the crane player gets to draw another card if he so wishes. And are we going to see a defender drop from the crane player here? I would imagine so. So fertile field gets triggered first and one more card and yeah the crane player passes lets the scorpion player trigger the earth ring and we see a censure randomly discarded which i think is going to be pretty big hang on did i miss a spice of court last turn i could have been big Ah, we did see a Spice of Court. I totally missed that. So, Falling Diplomat actually won their political conflict. Spice of Court was played in Hawk Tattoo and Let Go was put in the discard pile. Wow. That's really good for the um, Scorpion player, I guess. Now the Crane player is actually have a few key, key cards gone. Alright, and we do see the Guest of Honor walk straight into Shameful Display. And of course, Soul Beyond Reproach gets played once the Guest of Honor is uh, dishonored. Souls Beyond Reproach basically says, choose a character you control, honor that character, then honor it again. So it goes straight from dishonored to honored. And now we're going to see a Bansai to break this shameful display. I mean, you could argue that Let Go is a key card if the Scorpion player runs Cloud the Mind, which I think the Scorpion player does. I'm just gonna have a quick look at that. The Scorpion player does not run Cloud the Mind. I am completely mistaken. Yeah, okay, Let Go is a really good discard. Oh, in order to stop Shameful from breaking, we see a unassuming Jujimbo drop with one fate into this conflict. So, uh, the Guest of Honor shuts off all events, so after the Shameful display was triggered. Oh. We, we did see the Bansai come down and enhance the military strength of Guest of Honor. And now we see a Menacing Iron Warrior. Of course, the Crane player is not afraid of a Fate Worse Than Death here because of the Guest of Honor. And that is amazingly... That is amazing for the Crane player. Breaking shameful display and uh, uh, never having to worry about that province again. Oh no, like, from the perspective of the Crane player, having let go discarded is a really good discard. From the perspective of the Scorpion player, that's a horrible discard. I think, though, discarding uh, Hawk Tattoo is, uh, like, really beneficial for the Scorpion player. It all depends on who you root for. Really. Alright, and we didn't see another conflict character from the um, Scorpion player, which means the Shusura actress actually went unused, uh, which is uh, interesting. Uh, the Crane player is starting to drop a bit low on honor, but of course a second guest of honor shows its face, so I'm guessing the Crane player is looking to finish this game sooner rather than later, and not having to worry about honor. And the chat is uh, basically saying that it's uh, over for the Scorpion player here because of the second Guest of Honor. I kind of agree a little bit. Guest of Honor is just extremely broken if you can't run, if you don't run Cloud the Bind. Cloud the Bind, of course, is great against Guest of Honor. Yes, Guest of Honor is fair and balanced. Tadaka is also fair and balanced. Scorpion Stronghold is fair and balanced. There are a lot of fair and balanced cards in this game. 
Hey, thank you, Luke. You sent five bits. I really appreciate it. You are the biggest. I think you, they call it shearer. You're you're the biggest cheerleader, Luke. Thank you. And Joe says, anytime I see a scorpion enter any round after the first with just seven fate, it's safe to say that they'll lose. Uh, yes, and also no. It's pretty bad, but not awful always. Sometimes you spend all your fate to basically kill your opponent's board and have a little bit of a board yourself. If you run uh, Phoenix Splash, that is, with like Eugene's Curse or the uh, Consumed by five fires, five fires. But in general, yeah, Joe, I agree with you. A Scorpion player not having only uh, seven fate going into the Dynasty phase is probably a bad thing. Alright, so we do see an attack on Meditations of the Tau. And apparently we uh, completely... Oh, and the Scorpion player kinda messed up a little bit here. So he defended with the uh, Actress and the uh, Outcast. And the Outcast actually got uh, bowed by the Stronghold. And then the Actress uh, got the challenger to defend but the challenger only actually works on attacking while this character is attacking choose a character controlled by your opponent move that character to this conflict so uh, it was not uh, he was not able to use the challenger to pull in the guest of honor which is what i assumed he wanted to do and then we see a policy debate from sly knight challenging uh, between guest of honor and the outcast so Why did he bid 5? Why did the Scorpion player bid 5? There was no way of winning. Like, even if you bid 5, you don't win the duel. Right? Oh, my bad. Uh, I I read that wrong. Uh, the five bit actually allowed the scorpion player to win that duel and got to see the hand of the crane player. Uh, my bad. Thank you very much, chat, for pointing this out. So the five bit meant the yoga outcast actually won that. So the dishonor victory condition is now gone, but in return he gets to see the hand and he gets to discard the bansai, which basically was going to allow the uh, crane player potentially breaking the stronghold this turn and then we see a few things happening we see the political rival dropped into the conflict and we see Jurin's curse played on the challenger and then we see a let go to discard Jurin's curse and the meditations is broken and the scorpion player doesn't like the game right now And yeah, let's see. Voice of Honor, Voice of Honor, Voice of Honor. Goblin Sneak, Goblin Sneak, Hawk Tattoo. So, po uh, Political Rival, Let Go, and Bansai are gone. So, we basically have Goblin Sneak, Goblin Sneak, and Steward, and Way of the Crane in the Crane player's hand. And that is it. And I fundamentally disagree with the Scorpion player attacking here. I'm guessing he wants to try and dishonor this uh, Iron Warrior. Uh, what is on the D Scorpion player stronghold? I'm going to take a quick peek. It is entrenched. Alright, so he feels secure that he can actually hold off the military attack. Which is fair. But uh, the political attack next turn from the... Uh, Crane player is going to be massive, absolutely massive. I think you potentially 
don't attack into entrenched here and just uh, pass, take the favor, and if he drops another conflict character, you defend with both Guest of Honor and Iron Warrior to prevent Iron Warrior from getting uh, hit by Fate Worse than Death. And the next turn, you just go everything into the stronghold. Yeah, this having. Uh, yeah, I guess I can see that this is a, a decent option as well, just because this Iron Warrior is not going to get much use next turn regardless. Uh, one political strength is not really going to make the difference, probably. And we do see a Fate Worse and Death on the Iron Warrior, and we instantly see a Voice of Honor. And this is, I think, the. Basically, the Scorpion play tilting a bit and completely forgetting that uh, Voice of Honor is something he's already seen in the Crane player's hand. Honestly, I'd be pretty tilted here as a Scorpion player. Let, let's not let's not be let's not beat around the bush. I would be pretty tilted here as the Scorpion player, and then this player power gets played and it gets voiced uh, because there were three voice in the Crane player's hand. So the Scorpion player knew all of this but kind of gave up regardless. And now we're going to see the massive, massive political attack on the stronghold. We're going to see a, well, let's see, 10, 13 political. Uh, I don't agree with discarding the Whisperer here. Like the Whisperer is excellent so excellent for a stronghold political push oh oh why not the third guest of honor guys the third guest of honor uh the this is pretty much like the perfect flops, like going straight all the way through for the crane player against a scorpion player. Uh, I'm guessing we're going to see Guest of Honor played and then the Whisperer played. And that is going to be. That's going to be it, folks. Wow, this is uh, this has been a rough, rough game for the Scorpion, and the Scorpion player just concedes. There is just, it is what it is. I think sometimes that uh, more effects like cloud the mind is probably working their way into the game, probably in like event form or something like that, and. Even though people find it boring that they can't use the ability on their characters, some characters are basically preventing you from playing the game altogether, which is even worse in my opinion. I kind of would like... If we want to have something that punishes the really sort of like obnoxious style of... Uh, characters in the in the game, I would think it would be interesting to have an effect that blocks uh, passive abilities rather than triggered abilities. Uh, that would be pretty cool. Like in a holding or in an event that you play at the start of the uh, conflict phase or something. Uh, that that would be an interesting workaround for Tadaka and Guest of Honor. That doesn't mean they just poop all over you. Excuse my language. So, that is it, and I'm thinking that it was, let's see, should I get this right? It was the Greece player, the Greece crane player that won this game. And uh, that means they are 1-1 one, one in games now, I believe. So the last game is going to be the determined game. Uh, so, everyone that watched, thank you so much for watching. Luke, thank you for so much for the bits. And I will cut this stream 
very shortly and the VOD will be uploaded to YouTube and then Minds Desire who is doing an amazing work will incorporate into it into the um, World Cup playlist. Uh, there are more games going on today. I think there's actually one going on right now between uh, Russia and Poland. Uh, so I'll see you guys around. Goodbye.